Can you examine this gentleman's gastrointestinal system, please? Certainly. Hello. 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 Um, my name is Mark Murphy. I'm one of the GPs here in the Department of General Practice in North Sea Side. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's Mr. Smith. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. I've been asked to examine your examine your gastrointestinal uh, system. Um, I will need to look at your tummy. If that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. So. Uh, if it's okay, I'd need you to lie flat and I might have to press in your tummy. Um, are you in any pain at all? No. Okay. I'll also probably comment on your hands, look at your head and neck and a few things like that. Is that alright? That's okay. Okay. So, um, if it's alright, I might start. I might get you to lie flat. Is that okay? So, you just press back there on the pillow. Are you comfortable? Uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to comment um, on a few aspects from the end of the bed. Is that okay? Okay. So um, I will start the uh, gastrointestinal examination by inspection from the end of the bed. Um, on inspection, Mr. Smith appears comfortable, there's no distress. There was no discoloration or abnormal pigmentation from the end of the bed. There's no jaundice, the colour is normal. I would like to check his BMI, but the BMI appears normal. Uh, on close inspection, on, on inspection of the abdomen from the end of the bed, there, uh, the abdomen is moving normally with respiration. There are no scars and there are no obvious distensions or masses. On the bedside, there are no nutritional aids, no intravenous drips, there are no medications and there is no sick bone. Sit up. That's okay. Thanks very much. Okay, you can just uh, sit back there. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Go okay. Ahead. I'm just going to look at your hand. If that's all right. Okay. So you can put your hands out like that. Are you okay holding them out? Firstly, I'm looking for clubbing. So I'm looking for a loss of nail angle in both hands, which is not present, and an increase in longitudinal curvature, which is also not present. And there was no fluctuance of the nail bed. So there's no clubbing. I'm looking for leukonychia in the nails, which is not present. Can I get you to turn your hands back like so? Okay. And can I I'd ideally keep the hands here for 30 seconds? And I'm looking for asterixis or an hepatic flap flexion. That is not present. Thank you. You should turn your hands around and you can rest your hands down if that's okay. There is no palmar erythema. I'm looking for palmar crease pallor, suggestive of anemia, which is not present. And there is no visible or palpable dupatrins contracture. Thanks very much. I'll now move on to examination of the upper limbs. On inspection, there is a tattoo on both forearms. There are no petechiae or etymosis present. There are no scratch marks. There's no obvious muscle wasting. There are no spider nevi in the upper limbs or in the upper thorax. And there is no gynecomastia. Okay, now I'm going to move on to examination of the head and neck. So firstly, starting with the eyes. Mr. Smith, is it okay if I press just below and above your eyes? Is that okay. okay? Okay, so I'm going to get you to look up towards the ceiling. I'm going to press very gently here. I'm looking for conjunctival pallor, which is not present. I'm going to get you to look down. And there's no scleral ictus. There are a few xanthelasma infermediate to both eyes. I'll now move on to examination of the mouth. Can I get you to open up your mouth for a second? Thank you. So there is no angular stomatitis. There is normal dental hygiene, no mouth ulcerations, no glossitis. Can I get you to stick out your tongue? Say ah. Ah. And there is no um, uh, oral candidiasis. Okay, I will now move on to examination of the um, neck. Can I get you to sit forward, please? Um, is it okay if I examine your lymph nodes? It's it okay. I'll be pressing very, very gently on your neck. That's all right. That's okay. Okay. So, just starting under your chin, and I'll comment as I go along. There are no, we're examining the submental, 
submandibular, parotid, preauricular, post posterior auricular, anterior cervical chain, supraclavicular, the occipital and the posterior cervical chain, lymph nodes, and there are no lymph nodes palpable. Okay, I'm now going to move on to looking at your abdomen, if that's all right. That's okay. okay. I'll need to lie you flat. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay, so let's move to bed a little bit. Thanks, Mr. Smith. I'll get you to lie down flat. Okay, I'm happy with the position, lying flat with one pillow, arms by his side. In terms of exposure, inferiorly, I would ideally expose the groins and hernial areas, hernial orifices to examine for a hernia. But for the purposes of this examination, I'm happy with exposure. So starting with inspection uh, of the abdomen. So there are no scars visible. There are no obvious masses or distensions. There are no striae and there is no stoma. And the abdomen is moving well with respiration. I'll now move on to palpation. So, I'll start with light palpation. <clears throat> so, I'm uh, going to press very lightly on your, on your abdomen. Please let me know if you have any pain at all. Is that okay? Okay. I'm examining in the nine abdominal areas. No pain? No. I'm going to press a little bit deeper if that's okay. okay. So moving on to deeper palpation. Again in the nine abdominal areas. Okay. So to summarize palpation, the abdomen was soft and non-tender. There was no tenderness, there was no guarding, there was no rigidity, and I did not appreciate any mass. And then, now we move on to uh, palpation of the abdominal organs, starting with the liver. I'm going to do the same thing now, Mr. Smith. Um, I'm going to feel for your liver. It'll, it'll involve me um, pressing in your tummy. Is that again? Is that okay? That's okay. Okay. I'll have to get you to take some big breath in and out, if that's all right. I'm starting in the right iliac fossa. And out. And in. 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 And out. Thank you. There was no hepatomegaly. No liver edge was palpable. <coughs> I'll now move on to palpation of the spleen. Again, starting the right right iliac fossa. Can I get you to continue taking breath in and out? If that's okay. Thanks. Slightly here. Big breath in. Okay. Mr. Smith, can I get you to roll towards the side? Okay. Just lie on your side. Thanks very much. I'm going to move back to the just both in the and and feel again. Big breath in. Thank you. You can roll back onto your back. On examination of the spleen, there was no splenomegaly. I could not feel the spleen. I'll now move on to palpation of the kidneys. <coughs> so, Mr. Smith, I'm going to put my hand just behind you here. Is that okay? That's okay. And I'm going to press on your back, okay? And okay. also from the front. So, my right hand is over the right kidney, and my left hand is in the renal angle, and it's moving upwards. I'm trying to blot feel it with my right hand. 
and then move on to pilating the left kidney, keeping my right hand on top. My left hand is in the left ring angle, and I'm pilating the left kidney upwards. And um, on examination, um, both kidneys were not palpable on, on the lot. Lastly, I will examine for um, an abdominal aortic aneurysm. So I'll examine uh, the abdominal aorta, examining for that. So on palpation, starting about, about 10 centimeters um, apart, I'm pressing just above the umbilicus. I'm feeling for an expansile mass. And I'll move medially. No expansile mass is present. A normal pulsatile mass is present. It's approximately three centimeters in diameter. That's a normal examination of the aorta. Um, I will now move on to percussion of the abdomen. Mr. Smith, I'm now going to tap on your on your abdomen a few times. Is that okay? That's okay. Yes. Okay. It's called percussion. So I'm going to start by um, percussing the liver. So starting in the right aortic fossa roughly the mid clavicular line, moving superiorly. And the percussion note change from resonant to dull. I'm just going to, can I get you to keep your finger there, just to remember where the lower edge of the liver is. Starting in the second intercostal space in the mid clavicular line, roughly, moving inferiorly. Cushion note went from resonant to dull, which is the upper border of the liver. So I'm now just going to measure the liver span, which is 12 centimeters in normal. Thank you. I'll now move on to percussion of the spleen, again starting in the right aortic fossa. Cushion note was resonant throughout, which is normal. I will now move on to uh, assessing for shifting dullness and a fluid thrill. If distension was present in the abdomen and I was suspicious for ascites, these signs uh, would uh, are useful to, de to demonstrate uh, ascites. Um, I will demonstrate what the sign is, although there is no distension present. So. Um, in the midline, I would percuss out to the flanks, and this resonant note would change to dull if the fluid was present, although that did not happen here. If a dull note was present there, I would then get the patient to roll towards me. Can I get you to roll towards me? Thanks very much. And I would wait 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I would again percuss, and I would, and if the percussion note changed from dull to resonant, I would have demonstrated shifting dullness, which suggests ascites. Thank you. I might do one last test, if that's okay. Can I get you to put your hand in your, just across your abdomen like that? Is that okay? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. And with my right hand in the left flank, I will check for a fluid thrill and I would feel this in my right hand. There is no fluid thrill dem um, present now. A fluid thrill would demonstrate ascites. Thank you. Okay. I'll now move on to auscultation of the abdomen. Using the diaphragm of the stethoscope. Ideally, wait 20 or 30 seconds, and um, the bowel sounds are normal and present. To conclude the gastrointestinal examination, I would like to examine both groins and hernial orifices. 
I'd also like to inspect the anal region and perform a digital rectal examination. And I would like to conclude by examining the ankles for pitting a deep. And that would conclude the gastrointestinal examination. Mr. Smith, I've finished examining you. Thanks very much. I'll sit you up. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.